Good morning. It's Tuesday. Just woke up. <laughs> Seconds ago, I still haven't washed my face. And then I'll get ready for my morning walk. I'm so excited about it. I do most of my reading on my morning walk. I like listening to audiobooks. I'm currently listening to Why Fish Don't Exist. It's amazing. I think I heard uh, Lena Norms talk about it for the first time. I'm always so impressed by short books that are really, really, really good. More than I'm impressed with long books that are really, really good. I'm always impressed that short books can be that good. And this book is that good. You know what I mean? I think this book will stand out. Definitely. I'm also reading this, The Elegance du Hérisson, The Elegance of the Hedgehog, which is also a Lena Norm's recommendation, but so far so good. Both of these books are chef's kiss. Um, this is definitely a favorite. This is five stars easily. I don't know why I haven't finished it yet. There's only like this much left. And I just keep postponing it. I don't want it to end. What will happen when it ends? The sight of smoking chimneys is one of my favorites ever. Should I do? Do I film myself washing my face? Do I do a montage of me washing my face? And applying sunscreen? <laughs> Maybe not, let's not do that. specimens. His colleague George S. Myers later conjectured that David made, quote, few to none of the actual measurements of his fish after 1885. No matter. His legacy as the swashbuckling giant of fish discovery remains untarnished. As two... So I just finished Why Fish Don't Exist. And, oh boy, was it good. <laughs> it's, it's like the child poster of my kind of books. Wow. I'm on my lunch break. Which means it's reading time. I will definitely finish this in the next hour. And I'm so excited because it means I not only managed to read two books and it's only Tuesday, but also I get to pick my next two books. I really like uh, reading multiple books at a time. I think uh, I didn't always feel this way, but I think it is my favorite part of reading a lot of books at the same time is making 
connections between them and finding metaphors in one book that apply to the other book it is particularly enjoyable when i'm reading a science book non-fiction science book and a fiction book it's such a good exercise i love it love it thinking about the last thing I read on my lunch break and oh man <laughs> anyway so um, not to spoil anything but it's from this book The Elegance of the Hedgehog and well all you need to know is that there's this woman and then there's this man and he says this line that I can't get out of my head he says, Nous pouvons être amis et même tout ce que nous voulons. This one line, we can be friends and even anything we want. I. Yeah. I really like that he knows her deepest fears and he's trying to work his way around them and stop thinking about this one line and i need to get to work so i just finished work and i have maybe six pages left of this book and something happened something that is tragic it could it could have not happened in this book it could have It happened, it happened, and I have to deal with it. Why, why would you do it? Muriel Barberi, why would you do it? I mean, yes, I get it. And I get that this is your last hooray. This is your last point that you had to make. But haven't we been through enough? I mean, yes, all these pages culminated to exactly this type of end. We didn't ask for this. I'll just go sit with my feelings. Good morning. So, I just woke up. I need to pick up a few items from the grocery store, so I'm going there. It's 7 a.m. And I'm excited. I'm starting a new book. It's called The Black Flamingo by Dean Ada. I got my period yesterday, so it's all about comfort. Let's go! Light change of plans. Couldn't find the black flamingo, so instead I started listening to Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and mm, nobody told me that listening to plays was so much fun. It completely transformed my walk. 
I had so much fun listening to plays is honestly revolutionary I will be doing a lot of that in the future I'm on my lunch break I'm making some curry and uh, I really want to listen to music but also I am very invested in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Hi. So I just got back from work. I listened to Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf on my way home. It's amazing. It's. It is the definition of a human. I was listening to it in public and there's this really violent fight scene and the actors well the voice actors are spectacular like I was walking to get to the subway station and I had to fucking stop to listen to the fight because I could not function with the big climax coming up going to be utilizing one of my favorite romance tropes and I just like amping it up so to a much. whole new agonizing level historical romance trope hi i just woke up it's friday it's very gloomy and cold but i'm excited to walk and listen to my book who's afraid of virginia wolf i only have like 30 minute minutes left so. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Excuse the terrible lightning, but oh my god, oh my god. And the fact that my mirror is very dusty, but oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I just finished work. It's 5.30 p.m. And I'm thinking maybe I could finish this book. It's so sunny. Maybe I could finish this book tonight. And nothing hurts anymore. I feel kind of free. It's Saturday. Um... I'm going to end the vlog here. I just want to say that I did not finish Psychologie des Penguins yesterday. Thank you for watching, if you did watch. Yeah, this was fun. This was fun. <laughs>